Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on October 22nd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, giving a world update, space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, everything affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at the last 40 hours on the sun, as we do have a pretty active incoming sunspot region. As well, we do have a CME to talk about as well which is most likely not an Earth-directed event. You cannot see it from here, but it is visible on the Iswa. But this is the sunspot region there that let out quite a CME blast. Other than that, there is not much to talk about. Small fiery region to the north part. Looking outgoing right now. Plasma filaments whipping around the surface of the sun. A little earth to scale. I want to thank everybody for over 40,000 followers around the world. 197 countries worldwide subscribed. And I appreciate all of the support, memberships, donations, and all the people getting in the chat and the comment section. Much love to y'all. Looking here at the multi-spectrum. Showing that small CME, not in an Earth-directed position. Boom. As well, observing here, 171 angstroms. No major coronal holes to talk about. Coronal hole wind stream has since dissipated, as we did receive it pretty quick. Have a quick look. Solar X-ray flux. It is slightly heightened to just under C-class. Flare range. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Real-time solar wind. We're sitting at about 480 kilometers per second. And it's been pretty steady throughout the day today. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3. You can see the CME event. Pretty large blast out both sides, actually. So two on the left and one on the right. Iswa spiral showing both the CME events on the left. The sun has been pretty quiet as of late. We can expect that to change over the next little while heading into the winter solstice. Looking here, Lasco 3, you can see the extent of this CME. Blasted out the left side. Almost a full halo towards the end of the image. Accompanied with that right side blast. Iswa not showing the right side blast just yet. But you can see the double CME shot right at Venus. And as well, the Parker Solar Probe. We'll have a quick look at the Schumann resonance for today. Slightly heightened, power of 19. Quality of 10.8, amplitude of 19. Have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours. We're hovering right around 250 earthquakes, according to USGS, the last 24 hours. Looking across this globe, it looks eerily quiet. We're going to start out here in North America, where, yeah, it is very quiet and no major swarms to talk about. Only major earthquakes today were the 3.5 and 3.4 here at Tom's Place, 8 kilometer depth, White City, New Mexico, small 2.5, as well a 3.2 here in Levan, Utah, Stanley, Idaho, seeing a 2.5. Other than that, no major quakes to report in the United States. Largest earthquake through Hawaii, 2.9 today. Minor seismicity continues to uptick through Alaska. Mariana's Trench seeing a 395 kilometer depth, 4.3 earthquake today, pagan region. As well, pretty rare earthquake here, the Federated States of Micronesia region, 5.4 earthquake, 10 kilometer depth. There has not been many earthquakes there. 4.5 here, Mercedes, Philippines, and then Indonesia, as we do have 
some active volcanoes through the region as well. 4.3 there, Flores C. 5.3, Adampit, Indonesia, and Pandong, Indonesia, 4.6. And as well, Sungai, Indonesia, 4.3. Sizable 4.3 earthquake here. Deepest earthquake of the day, 597 kilometer depth, Fiji region. As well, just north of that, a 5.0, high, high fo, 71 kilometer depth, and a pretty sizable earthquake recorded down here yesterday. New Zealand, two, or 5.6, that's the largest the last 24 hours. Eerily quiet through South American plate, largest earthquake to report, 4.4, Kalama, 100 kilometer depth. Central America, same thing, Chiapas, Mexico, 4.4. Minor activity here through Punta Cana. No major earthquakes to talk about today. Minor rumbles across the planet and quiet, I would say. And that is the last 24 hours. Have a quick look at the last seven days across the planet. And as I said, it has been pretty quiet. Expecting seismicity to increase especially after we got that little bit of action in Canada. That's right, that big yellow ring over the North American plate is a 4.3 earthquake that struck Rocky Mountain House, Canada. And that was yesterday. There was another one reported just southeast of it, but then they lifted it away. So more rare earthquakes through Alberta it seems to be an increasing thing for Alberta. Now we've seen about eight earthquakes throughout the province, largest being that 4.3. Seismicity continues through Alaska. And as well, West Ring of Fire, pretty quiet. Up into the Indian Plate, quiet as well. Mediterranean, seeing a lot of minor activity, according to Volcano Discovery. But that's the last seven days for earthquakes. I want to remind everybody just to have a plan. Maybe get a bag that has all your emergency supplies in it, ready to go, just in case. What would you do if a large earthquake struck near you? Now, another thing I wanted to share here was satellite imagery overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, West Atlantic, off the coast of New York, as Mr. MB3333 put out today, saying that there was a huge caldera off the coastline and that is ridiculous, preposterous, actually. Doesn't he realize he's looking at fog, lower level cloud in the West Atlantic, right in those regions there. So don't be fooled. There is no caldera that was just found off the coast of New York. Let's have a look at all of the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Yes, sir. Vanuatu, Fuego, Guatemala, La Palma in Spain, Nevadas de Ruiz. Nevados de Chilean, Sangue, Sabincaya, Reventador, Semsnapochnoi, Karamiski, Shivaluch, Manam, Languila, Popo, and Simaru. Stay tuned, volcanic activity report is coming up this weekend. Give you a full update on all of the active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. We updated about 12 just today. One tropical storm to talk about. Tropical storm Rick is alive, heading into the Gulf of California this week. Now, another thing I wanted to point out were these massive systems across the Northern Hemisphere right now, Pacific, Atlantic, and over the Hudson Bay. We've got one, two, three, four massive lows, and one of them in the East Pacific is penetrating the BC coastline right now. We got one there in the Atlantic, one over Hudson Bay, one on the coastline East Pacific, and one over Alaska. And these things are massive. They're getting bigger, guys. Let's have a look at the five day forecast brought to you by Media Worth and as well daily events worldwide. As we do have quite a cool down heading into home base, Ontario. That's right, single digits by the end of the week. But watch for this system to bring quite a bit of rain as we have a nor'easter in the long range here 
heading into the northeastern parts of the United States and the Atlantic provinces. Cool temperatures to follow behind that. Winter is right around the corner, folks. And this is a big system. Overlooking the west, watch for those continuing lows to come through BC coastline, Washington, straight as far south as northern California. A lot of rain as well. Tropical storm Rick here making landfall Monday to Tuesday and then we'll be over Texas by Thursday, Wednesday into Thursday. So extreme weather breakout there for Texas as a tropical storm Rick goes through. Overlooking the Atlantic, strong high pressure ridge is about to be dominated by these huge lows in the northern hemisphere. Watch for the big lows to be moving northeastward parts of Europe. And as well, low pressure system coming out of North Africa into the Mediterranean. Long range forecast will bring some severe weather to Italy. Watch a lot of snow fall in parts of Eastern Europe. And we have our first major blizzard to talk about here for Russia. Long range forecast showing a quite a big winter storm, most likely blizzard conditions. Overlooking the West Pacific, watch for another system to race out of South Japan this week and head straight through the Pacific. Looks like the same track as that last tropical storm that came through. As well, long range forecast looking at a typhoon forming there. Tropical system will form in the next couple days heading towards Thailand. And that could be a category three storm by the time it whips into the coastline. No major weather system for the West Indies. India, daily evaporation rains through Marconesia. Australia, watch for parts of southwestern Australia. Big system there heading through Perth. Tuesday into Wednesday. Other than that, no major weather events to talk about. Interesting path of all these storms coming out of the West Pacific. Japan, mind you. And then South America, we've got quite an extreme weather event on your doorstep as well. Argentina border with Brazil yet again. And heading and spreading out northward. Watch for that system to head straight up through Bolivia and into Central America. That could be a doozy of a storm in the long range. Africa, no major weather events to talk about either, except some pretty persistent cool temperatures, parts of South Africa, and as well higher elevations through Somalia. Could have a system developing in the long range there as well through the Indian Ocean. We'll leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Much love to you all, and thank you all for watching and tuning in. If you made it this far in the video, you're amazing and so loved and appreciated. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.